Hello, it's Perigi from Chilio Designs, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to export uh, a file to the Figma community. So in this case, we have this dashboard, and assuming that we want to publish it in a Figma community, simply click on the top right uh, share button. And uh, at this point, uh, this model is going to open up and uh, we need to click uh, on publish. Now at this point, we're going to see this uh, brief uh, screen. We're going to click on uh, publish uh, button here again. And we have uh, a few different uh, options uh, that uh, we need uh, to fill up. So the very first one is going to be, we need a custom thumbnail. And this is going to be the preview of uh, the Figma file, which you're going to see under the Figma community. So as you can see here, we're going to have a preview once we click on upload, and then we can upload our customized thumbnail, which uh, is going to be in size 1920 pixels by 960. So keep that in mind as you're designing it. Then we're going to add a name and uh, Probably it's going to be best to give it uh, not a generic name such as dashboard, uh, but something more specific uh, such as dashboard uh, for SaaS uh, B2B uh, agencies uh, or something around these lines. I'm making this up, of course, and as you can see, the preview is uh, there. You can also add a description, and this is going to be really important uh, as a uh, you can actually do quite a bit uh, when it comes to the SEO part uh, in the description. So add a description which is uh, not only uh, describing what this design file is about, but also think about your target audience and the type of people that might be searching for that design file. So make it accessible and easy for them to discover your work. And uh, after you added the description, you can add tags. So for example, I can uh, add the dashboard. And as you can see, as I'm typing uh, different tags, uh, I can already see the tag suggestions as well as the amount of resources uh, which are associated with that tag, which uh, it's, uh, gives you a clear indication and a clue as to what uh, might be the best tags uh, to use based on the popularity of uh, certain uh, tags which are associated to your project. So once you add tags and you can add up to 12 tags to really make your design file discoverable, you can uh, select the previous file or previous prototype. And uh, what does that means essentially is that uh, whenever a user is going to preview your file, they're actually going to see the raw Figma file or they're going to see it in prototype mode. So there's not going to be the interface and they won't be able to go through the, the pages uh, in its entirety. You also have some uh, advanced uh, features right here, which uh, for the very most part, I never touch them. So I usually keep them by default. Um, these are more technical aspects which uh, uh, you probably want, just want to keep uh, as default as well. And then once you're done, simply click on publish. It's going to take some time and you're going to have your design file published in the Figma community. Really hope this video was uh, helpful. And uh, if you want to learn more about Figma for free, check out the link uh, in the description, which uh, is going to bring you to our website with tons of free resources, articles, and also a free Figma course, which uh, you can learn about. 